In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add thumbnails to a YouTube shorts just like this and this. And it's going to make your views look so much better in the shorts tab and in the recommended page. And this could honestly start help pushing a lot more views to your YouTube shorts as they're simply just going to stand out more. A lot more people are going to be entitled to click them because they actually catch people's eyes. And it's not just a random screenshot from within your video. And I've seen a couple videos of people saying do this, do that. But, but a lot of these methods seem to get solved from YouTube pretty quickly. And this is the only way that I've found to do it. And I've done it twice so far in the last two days. And both my videos have been getting decent results from it. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like on the video as it does help me out more than you can imagine. And if you've got any more questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. But let's jump straight into it. Okay, guys, so if we do come over to my main YouTube channel, which is the one that I obviously post on basically every single day. As you can see, if we come over to the shorts tab, you can see how my last two shorts have actually got a YouTube style thumbnail to them. This one's just been uploaded a couple of hours ago and this one was uploaded yesterday. That's already got 11,000 views. This one's already on 2,000 views. And as you can see, my shorts before that were just random screenshots from within my short because there was no way of adding a thumbnail and I didn't know about this method then so they're not very eye-catching they don't stand out to anyone like even to me I probably wouldn't click these I would probably scroll past them the only way they were really getting views is if people were just scrolling through shorts and they were coming up that way nobody was really clicking on them from recommended pages and in the shorts tab from the home pages so having these thumbnails is already making a big difference and if you guys are uploading sort of content where you can get some good clickbait style thumbnails your videos will probably do very well as well but as you can see none of mine were really going over three 3,000 views. I did one there which almost has a thumbnail, but that was again just a screenshot within the video. But that one there, because I managed to get a thumbnail from the screenshot, it actually made the short look good. Whereas you can see with all the others, they all look very random. That one managed to do well. It's got 54k views, but that was just by chance. It was getting pushed out by the shorts tab rather than going onto people's home screens and actually being clicked on. It just was in the shorts feed. But that's where majority of my views have come from. Like I said, it's just people scrolling through their shorts rather than actually clicking on it. Whereas these have already had good views from search pages and recommended videos as opposed to just being in the shorts feed. So the way you're going to want to do this, guys, is obviously record your video and record the piece of content you want it to upload, whether it's gaming video, whether it's a t sit down and talking video. doesn't really matter what it is that you're going to do, but what you're going to do, you're going to get your content ready to go, and then you're going to open your editing software, whether that's CapCut, whether it's Premiere Pro, whether it's DaVinci Resolve, or whatever editing software you do use, it doesn't matter because this method is going to work. So if I do just jump over to my Premiere Pro, which is what I use to edit my videos, as you can see, the recent video that I was just talking about is here. This is where I had it edited up, and as we can see, this is my video here we've got all the stuff we've got it edited so it's in the aspect ratio to fit tiktok i've got my gameplay at the bottom my face cam at the top i've added some captions at the start to capture that piece of information that i'm talking about and then the rest is gameplay so it doesn't need captions obviously with captions it does help your videos perform a bit better because people can watch it without any volume and this is great for people that are on something like a train or a bus or whatever it might be sat at school where they're just scrolling through tiktok or youtube shorts without actually having audio on if they've got subtitles they can follow it along so it's just a little tip to get a few more views but then if as you can see there's where my video ends it finishes with the little class up right at the end i've edited it all up it's under a minute long so it's going to go up as a short and then if we look at the very very end if i zoom in we can see there's a little bit extra at the end and this is my thumbnail that i have made so I actually just ripped this thumbnail from a long form uh, content that I've done on this exact same class. I used this sniper rifle bit in a 10 minute long video and then I wanted to upload some highlights into a short so people could see it that way. And I used the thumbnail from my long form piece of content, edited it up slightly so it fit into obviously a TikTok style where it's going to fit that aspect ratio properly. And then I moved some elements around so it was all central. I moved the Warzone logo from far on the left into the center so people will know that it's for Warzone. And you guys can do this with whatever content you're making. It doesn't matter what it is doesn't have to be gaming doesn't have to be anything in particular it really does not matter but you want to add whatever it is let's say for example you're cooking and it's the perfect recipe for a red velvet cake you could have an image of that red velvet cake with some text at the top how to cook the perfect red velvet cake whatever it might be or something like how to cook a perfect cake in under a minute something like that that's just going to catch people's eyes make it stand out a little bit more and obviously the main thing with this what you really want to do is you want to have it so that it's going to stand out go and research your video that you've already that you're posting scroll down until you do find that shorts tab and have a little look at what the thumbnails are looking like from the shorts majority of them are going to be from people that have just grabbed a screenshot within that video so it could be a really really good opportunity for you to be able to go right okay if i do this mine's really going to stand out it's going to still have all the aspects that people are going to want to see it's going to show exactly what i'm talking about but it's going to stand out a little bit more i can color correct it i can add some text maybe some red arrows to make it a little bit more clickbaity i'm not too sure what you're going to want to do but you're going to want to make that thumbnail nice and eye-catching and make sure it does stand out within those shorts 
So you guys can make these thumbnails on any piece of software that you want. I personally use Photoshop because that's what I use for all my long form pieces of content. But if you guys don't have Photoshop, you might want to try CapCut because it's free. You might be able to do it on there. And I'm sure there are plenty of other softwares that you guys can actually go and use to actually edit these, get a good thumbnail and make it look a lot more appealing than just a screenshot from within the video. Like I said, I use Photoshop. I just find it easier. There's a lot more you can do in Photoshop as opposed to CapCut. Sorry, I know I just said CapCut, but I meant Canva. Canva's good for that. I know there's a lot of things you can do in Canva as well to make a good thumbnail. So yeah, you can go ahead and do it in Photoshop, Canva, whatever one it is. Doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure it's nice and appealing, catches people's eyes, adds a bit of text on there or something that's going to really start dragging people's attention to your short. So once you've done this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and put the image at the very end of your short and you want to make it 0.1 second long. If it's any shorter than that, you will not be able to use this as your screenshot because it's too short for YouTube to actually grab hold of it. So you need to make sure it is 0.1 second or longer. Obviously, you want to make it about 0.1, 0.11 second long. It doesn't really matter around that sort of mark. If it's any longer, it's just going to be a dead bit of video at the end, so you don't want it too long. As you can see, if I just click play, mine is literally there and it's gone within literally 0.1 seconds. It's so, so fast. People probably won't even clock it. They'll be looking at the class and they'll go, right, okay. You're not even going to notice that pop up most of the time. So like I said, make sure it's 0.1 seconds long and then you are going to actually be able to use this as your thumbnail. So now what you want to do is export your video once it's all edited and you have got that picture or your thumbnail at the end for 0.1 second. Export it. And now you need to find out a way to get it onto a phone or an iPad or something like that so you can upload it from the YouTube app from the App Store. So I like to use OneDrive, but if you've not got OneDrive, Google Drive could work. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways that you guys will be able to get this from your PC onto your phone. So now that you're on your phone, what you're going to want to do is obviously download the file and then start uploading it to YouTube. And as you can see, there should be a screen recording on screen right now, hopefully, as long as I've done it right. So you guys can see and follow along with what I'm doing. So you're simply just going to upload the video that you have chosen and you've exported it. You're going to go into YouTube, click upload and start uploading that as a YouTube short. Once you've gone through the steps and you've uploaded it, make sure it's all right. It's got the right sounds. If you want to add some music behind it, if you want to add any text onto the video, whatever it might be, make sure it's all right. And then once you get through to the screen, which you'll see in right now, is where you can start adding a title. And as you can see in the top left-hand corner, there should be a little pencil icon. And what we're going to do is we're going to click that. And as you can see, if I now scroll all the way to the end of that video, my thumbnail is going to be there. And I can set that as the thumbnail for my YouTube short. So you've now got two options. You can either set up the rest of the short from here. You can write your title, write your description, add your tags, whatever it might be that you want to do. Or what I like to do is actually save this as a private video and upload it as private. Then what I do is jump straight back onto my PC and start doing all that sort of detailing stuff from my PC. I just find it easier to write a title, description, tags, all that sort of stuff from within my PC because I can copy my big descriptions from a previous video. I can copy tags from my long form video and put it into my short form video. It just makes it a little bit easier to to work around these little things but yeah once you have done that and you've made sure that you've clicked that little pencil icon that i showed you at the minute ago scrolled all the way to the end selected that thumbnail section and then click done that is going to save as your thumbnail and then once you have uploaded it as a private you could like i said you can then continue it on your pc or on your phone it doesn't make a difference this is then going to save this as your thumbnail and you are going to be able to upload it with that thumbnail which is going to make it so much more appealing to people to click on and overall just improve the look of your shorts feed but yeah, hopefully this does help some of you guys out and hopefully it should help you guys start getting a lot more views on your shorts if you're struggling to get views because this should actually help you get a lot more views on your shorts because if it is popping up on people's home screens when they're on their PC or their laptop or even on their phone and they're scrolling, they might see this short and actually see that it's got a bit of a thumbnail. It looks a lot more appealing to a lot of the other shorts that are going to pop up. So if you can get this thumbnail right, you could genuinely start improving the, short, the chance of your short getting a lot more views with a very easy tactic that doesn't take too long to do. Like I said, you can make these thumbnails on photoshop cap cut it doesn't matter what you make it on you can just go ahead and make something like that and it's going to make it so much easier but hopefully the video has helped you out if it has be sure to smash thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to go and try this for yourselves subscribe notifications tell if you already i'll catch you in the next one in a bit Peace.